Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure what side of the election you were on. Doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, Donald Trump says he's going to make America great again. I'm willing to give him the opportunity and call his bluff, as they say. Uh, uh, if, you're, if you're a poker player, you know what I'm talking about. But in celebration, I'm taking the All-American coffee break. That's what I'm talking about. This is for the pepper lovers over on G+. Uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, and anybody else who's kind of interested in how I play with the dirt, if you will. Uh, you can see I got some growing medium. This is just a, a potting soil. You can buy any old potting soil. Now, I'm going to mix that with our dirt. But I got a couple bags of amenities up here, you can see. And yes, pepper lovers, I got them at, I got to admit it, I got them at the Walmart at two bucks after the season was over. But in these two particular beds here, and, and as you're looking here, you can see we're about two feet deep. These are 20 feet long, four feet this way. So I'm looking at about 80 square feet. Uh, one of these bags will treat about 75. So I'll add a little bit more in here uh, uh, for the depth. Um, if you're going by cubic yards, that measures out the, the 20, uh, yeah, 20 by 4 by 2.5. It's about two and a half feet deep. That measures out to about 70.5 cubic yards. And, and there's a big difference in how you treat your soil amenities that way. So in reality, I'm going to put two bags of each in each one and of course one is blood meal and the other is bone meal and I think we all know as pepper lovers go we know why that bone meal's there yes we do good stuff Maynard hey if you're on the wrong side of the election uh, uh my heart goes out to you because the country is divided we need to come together let's see what the Donald can do for us huh I, I don't know but I got a question for all the pepper lovers out there Riddle me this, if you will. Now that he has become president, if would it be politically incorrect? Would I be, you know, is it against etiquette or whatever to still refer to him as the Donald? Or do we have to now go Mr. The Donald? I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe you guys can help me out and let me know so I don't, you know, maybe I'll get an interview with the guy and I, I don't, I don't want to make a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Let me know, pepper lovers. But here's the beds. Uh, uh, for for one of the chilies, of course, we're going to get the the good hot morning sun. I got glass going in on the back side for for some too. Uh, what? But the other thing you're going to see here, you'll see chives up in there. You'll also see. Check this out here, ladies and gentlemen. I already got it going on. Can you see it? That's right, oregano. Oregano. It was growing into that wood from the the previous bed I did here. <laughs> But I do a lot of companion planting, and I do that for a specific reason because uh, I, I call it uh, uh, alternate food sourcing is what I do. We have rodent problems up here. We, we have other kinds of critters that are going to come eat. There, there's antelope, deer, stuff like that. I plant stuff around the stuff I want to keep. For me, I plant... Whoops, that ground's moving. Uh, <laughs> I plant stuff that we're going to keep for ourselves around like oregano that the rabbits kind of shy away from the rabbits don't care for oregano whatever it is perhaps they think uh, uh if they eat the oregano they'll become hoss and pfeffer i don't know but that's one of the things we do is a lot of companion planting i'll show you as we, how, how to do that as i go along uh you can see i got onions and stuff all around the edges right and, and then in the middle of this particular bed we'll also have a couple chilies here i'll probably get one in here in the corner but right there is a flowering plum tree in the middle and I'll have garlic onions and all kinds of stuff going around the edge to keep the critters from eating it uh, uh, during the winter and stuff like that. Like I said, I don't know why they shy away from certain herbs. They do. If you learn how to companion plant, ladies and gentlemen, you don't need to go get all the garlic smell and put it in your yard and have that rotten egg smell chasing deer away, man. Uh, uh, and we'll get to that as we go along during the, the growing season here. I am right now just preparing soil uh, uh, all these nutrients are going to mix and get in there. They're going to ferment with each other and do what they do with each other over the winter before I actually plant the chilies in these beds, ladies and gentlemen. And you can see right now our sun is really low in our sky. I don't know if you can see the mountain range. It normally comes up over here in the winter, in, in the summertime. So a uh, big difference in the sunlight that we're going to get in the summertime here versus the, the, the wintertime. And... As I said, this is the planting bed for 
Pepper Lovers on G Plus Chili Growing Contest for the 2017 growing season. So I'll have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. You can see I got gorgeous sunshine. Let's all be safe out there.